Good morning everyone, hope you're all doing well. It's Sunday and I really want to tidy, declutter, sort, all of the above. Alex is away on his stag do this weekend. He has gone to Mallorca with 11 of his friends and I have been staying with my sister because my brother-in-law has also gone on the stag and she's got, oh, I just dropped my shoe. <laughs> she has got a little baby. So I've been staying with her just to help out and to keep her company because it's the first time obviously she's been alone um, with my niece um, without her husband. So that's a lot to do. So um, I have been away this weekend, but today I've just come back for the day to tidy and sort everything before the ne before next week because the house is such a mess. It just feels untidy and unclean and I just want to I just want to declutter and organize. There's some things that I really want to do in this video that I don't know if I'm going to be able to do without Alex, like our spare bedroom has just become a dumping ground. I'm going to attempt as much as I can basically today and tomorrow um before Alex comes home just so the house feels a bit tidier like even like in the summer the amount of flies that come in and I'm looking at this window and it's just, ugh, it grosses me out so much. So we're gonna get stuck in, get cleaning, get tidying, cause yeah, I have not slept well at all because Alex is away. I'm all nervous. I'm like, oh, they're gonna be drinking. Is he gonna injure himself? Is he gonna do something silly? Cause you know what boys are like and it's a stag do, but sounds like they all had lots of fun. So that's good. But yeah, I really did not sleep very well last night. I am such a warrior. <sighs> but yeah, he's back tomorrow and then I've got my hen do next week and then it's three weeks, three or four weeks till our wedding. I just cannot believe how quickly it's come around, but <gasps> oh my gosh. Starting upstairs in the bedroom, whenever I declutter or tidy, everyone has a different methods. I personally like to do it room by room because then it feels accomplished. Trying to do like all the hoovering in the whole house and then all the dusting in the whole, that just tires me out. So I'm gonna start in the bedroom and then I feel like I've accomplished something because it's like, bedroom is clean and also I like going upstairs first and then working my way down. <laughs> First room is done, dusted. I've been meaning to hoover behind the bedside tables for ages, so that's very satisfying. And now I'm gonna come in here and fold all this washing and then sneak peek, <laughs> sort out my bridesmaids dresses and kind of create, I kind of need to create a space now for wedding things so that it doesn't just spread across the house. So I think I'm gonna store it all in the dressing room.
rooms are now complete. This is the room that's gonna take a bit of time. In an ideal world, I really want to declutter some stuff, but I'm trying not to add extra pressure before my wedding. I think post-wedding, I'm going to be decluttering and sorting out a lot of things. Our upstairs of our house hasn't really been decorated apart from that spare bedroom that I did. And it's one of my goals before Christmas to start decorating the upstairs. So potentially doing our bedroom or a spare bedroom or this room. This room, to be honest, I would like to keep it as a dressing room, but we need to do something about these cupboards because they're falling apart. Um, they were here when we moved in, they're like Ikea Pax wardrobes and they are very annoying and they fall apart and I, I just want to fix them and do something about it. And this room just, it's just always a mess. And I, I find if your house, there's a room or an area that's always a mess, it's because it's not organized properly and it's because you haven't renovated it or you haven't decorated it in the way that keeps it tidy. And I've experienced this with any room that we've renovated stays tidy. So our living room downstairs generally stays tidy. Our kitchen doesn't stay tidy, but the only reason it doesn't stay tidy is because all the crap from the hallway ends up in the kitchen because the hallway hasn't been done. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to a time when the storage in this room is done properly and I can organize it all, you know, in the way that I want it. But for today, I'm just going to try and sort out, because it's been like a pile of crap basically on my dressing table for the longest time. I need to get a new dressing table because this is not suitable. Um, and I just need to find, basically I have nowhere to put my hairdryer and I don't have enough storage in this um, dressing thing. So I'm gonna have a look in there and see if there's anything I can get rid of and try and find a better sort of, I've got all these baskets, so I need to like use these baskets basically. And then over here, you can see this is our bathroom furniture because we haven't done our bathroom yet. There's been like delays with it because we've been doing the outside. The bathroom furniture is just sitting in here. <laughs> so we've got our shower cubicle doors and then the unit for our bathroom. And it's annoying it being in here, but it is what it is, that's renovating life. And it's just one of those things we had planned to do the bathroom and then it never happened. So it's just living here. So that's gonna be, it already is kind of, you can see a little welcome sign. Um, it already is gonna, it already is a sort of area for our wedding stuff. So I'm gonna try and create a zone basically for all of our wedding things so that anything to do with the wedding can just live there. And it means that I know where it is and it's not gonna start making the whole rest of the house messy, especially because the week of our wedding, there are people gonna be staying in the house. So enough chatter. I'm gonna just tidy first and then we're gonna sort some things out. So I think I'm gonna start tidying up this whole dressing area. Dressing area, dressing table. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed. So I've just been crying, obviously. Um, <laughs> and I was gonna just not film anymore and just finish the day and just, I don't know, or try and suck it up and carry on as if nothing happened. But I put my dresses up and I realized where I've left them in the spare bedroom, my bridesmaids dresses, the cat has destroyed them. Um, there are like pulls and tears and holes 
in my dresses, my bridesmaids dresses, uh, their satin dresses. And from a distance it's fine, but I, you, especially the green one hanging here, it's got, yeah, it's got so many, like where the, I guess the cat has stretched and done this with its paws and you can see all the individual claw marks and then a tear line where the, the thread has pulled. And I don't know if it's uh, fixable and they were expensive dresses and they're made to order. So I don't think that I will be able to get them uh, in time for the wedding if I reorder them. And I know first world problems, but I even hate saying that. No, I take that back because I really hate this trend of being upset about normal life stuff. You should, I don't know, give a, a disclaimer as if I'm not a human as well and as if I'm not allowed to be sad about stuff that everyone gets sad about. You know, stuff like this happens pre-wedding, things go wrong and it's normal to cry. Why am I saying, why am I catching myself? This is something I'm really trying not to do on my channels, trying to cover up this stuff. Like it's normal to cry about this and it's normal to say, this is horrible. Cause it is. <laughs> Anyone saying anything, I don't know, anyone, if your friend came to you and said, I'm start crying about something like this, you wouldn't go, oh yeah, first world problems, mate. There are people out there dying. You'd just say, oh my God, that's awful. It's life. And I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I actually haven't felt overwhelmed particularly to do with wedding stuff. I felt a bit stressed because of various things, but like I felt on top of it, but it's just the combination, I think, of it being a month from the wedding, around a month-ish from the wedding and work is busy because I have to make sure that everything's done before the wedding because obviously we're going to have to take time off. So I'm trying to make sure that the work is done. I'm trying to make sure that, you know, I've got enough brand deals because weddings are very expensive and I want to make sure that we can afford everything and I feel like that was the straw that broke the camel's back and I just burst into tears and I rang my mum and my sister like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, but it's, I know it's life and I know that there's a solution somehow. Um, either we'll have to see if a dry cleaner can help fix them or I'm going to have to figure out getting them from somewhere else. But I don't know. It's just so annoying because they were the perfect dresses. And I feel like such an idiot because I don't know how they were on the bed or why they were hanging up before and I don't know when I did that. I think that I did it when I was hanging the washing and I think I moved them because they fell off. I think one of them fell down and I think I remember moving them onto the bed because I was like, oh, they're falling, I'll fix those in a minute. And then I went and rushed out and forgot because I had to leave. And I'm just kicking myself. It's so annoying, but all I want to do right now is go into a ball, curl up, because Alex isn't here, and obviously usually I'd get a big cuddle from Alex and ring him, whatever, but I'm not gonna ring him and tell him about this till he gets home, because obviously he's on a stag do, and I want him to have fun, I don't want him to be worried about me or this. Um, and all I want to do is curl up in a ball, but I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and I'm just gonna keep going, because I know that I feel so much better if I clean the house, and also, this is a video that obviously I planned, so I want to make sure the video I planned, I finish and film. Um, so yeah, <sighs> maybe my expectations of what I'm going to do today are less, so I'm just going to do as much as I can. And then if this, if the upstairs is tidy, I'm forgetting about the spare bedroom until Alex comes home. That's a job for another day. I'll show you how bad it is. Maybe I'll sort the suitcases out. Um, but I'm just going to try and make the house clean and then I'll feel better. It's not much left to do realistically. The utility and that room is a, th a thing that me and Alex need to do together because they're both really like, a mate. to be honest, it's Alex's stuff, a lot of it, so I can't really do it because yeah, he's been busy too. We've both been very busy. So, um, oh my gosh, I didn't think I was gonna film at all. I thought I was just gonna keep it a secret, but I'm really trying not to do that. I'm I'm trying not to do this whole, oh, it's first world problem, so you shouldn't talk about it. And you don't want people to think you're asking for attention or you're asking for sympathy. Because honestly, I literally don't want any sympathy. It's not even something to be sympathetic about, really. 
I just want to be honest. <laughs> this is not a fake day in my life. It's real. This is what happened. And it's not particularly personal. It's not like I need to keep it to myself, but oh my gosh. Right, let's get this room done. You've made me feel better. You know, vlogging is like a journal at the end of the day. Sometimes I forget how actually therapeutic it is because I felt like crap just then. But actually talking to you, it's a little diary entry. It does, it does get it out. Um, I think my mum is probably messaging me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just not what I need. <laughs> oh, I know that the thing is though, with every wedding, there's always some disaster that does happen. So this is hopefully the only one. <laughs> So whenever I tidy, I basically throw anything that doesn't belong in the room into the hallway and things needs to go downstairs into the hallway and I end up with this mess in my hallway. So I need to now sort everything out, take stuff downstairs, put things away, etc., etc., and then move the hallway. <laughs> literal beads of sweat on my head I have decided because um, because it's been a day <laughs> that I've done upstairs go me I've done the bathroom I just need to mop the bathroom um, and I've done the three three bedrooms I need to clean up my lunch now um, put some food away the kitchen's fine the batteries run out on the hoover and I had kind of planned to do this across the next two days anyway because Alex is away Tomorrow he doesn't get back till like the after, late afternoon. So I've kind of got a day where I can do some cleaning and I'll do work as well, but I can like do some work and then do some cleaning and then do some work and that kind of thing. So I think that I'm going to reconvene with you tomorrow and finish cleaning tomorrow because I kind of just want to go back to my sister's house and figure out what we're gonna do about these uh, dresses. So I'm gonna message my mum now and hopefully she's still there. And then, um, yeah, hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna tidy this up and then I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it's Monday morning. I have been to the gym, 
I had my shower, as you can tell my hair's a bit wet, so ignore that. Um, I had to fully, when I like wash it and leave it curly, I have to fully let it dry, like looking a bit crispy, <laughs> and then scrunch it out. But I'm gonna finish the tidying this morning. Hopefully it won't take very long um, because I need to go back. Um, Alex is on his plane home now and he'll be home this afternoon. So I want the house to be nice and tidy for when he gets back. So I'm going to dust and tidy up this room and then do the same in the kitchen, then hoover and mop everywhere. And that should be enough. There's a little bit of tidying to do in the hallway, but I really want to get this done like in the next, within an hour basically. I wanna get back this morning to my sister's. So that's the plan. Let's get cleaning. I'm feeling fresh for this week. So glad I had a shower, it's so hot. I still feel really hot because there was a heat wave in the UK last week and I went to the gym this morning and our gym is an old warehouse. So it's kind of like a greenhouse and the aircon is really not very powerful. <laughs> and I think that all the heat over the last few days has like, ballooned or cocooned, what's the word, you know, been caught inside the gym. And as soon as I got in there, before I'd even started, I was dripping and sweat. Um, and I'm still feeling hot now, even though it's 20 degrees now, it's cooled down a lot. I still feel very hot. And I'm gonna get even more hot as, as I clean, but let's do this. <laughs>
That is it, the house is tidy, ignore this bag. I'm taking that with me, I'm leaving now. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see another one or something similar. If you are following and you haven't subscribed, please do and check out my renovation playlist. I've got loads of videos about the house. Let me know if you'd like to see as well a video where I show the progress so far, like a year and a half of living here and how much we've renovated, like a new sort of house tour. And I'll oblige you with that. <laughs> I'm so sweaty, oh my goodness. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and a big glass of water and then head out. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.